for me the what I'm seeing with the youth they are teaching us something important okay let us forget politicking mm. okay and concentrate on governance mm-hmm. because we have politicians but mm. we have governance mm. governance means putting policies in place if you are saying our education system has some flaws mm-hmm. it means the policies are not okay mm-hmm. if the policies are not okay there is somebody who is not implementing that mm-hmm. is governance and that can go through everything mm-hmm. the way we are we, we pay our, our our political leaders how our judiciary functions the executive every what we need here is to concentrate on governance and mm-hmm. i think the gen z's have caught that properly Ndihulandileni Kajigena, programu hii ya Catholic Perspective Vanova Radio Alina Theuze Mtsaji Gondi, pagati batu Tokoze kutita kumanaso mprogramu hii Inendi Sam K, mprogramu hii mula arendo Amine ntai zambiri ni makala nao Koma muumve kuti nkuona kuti paliso ajirendo Ligirani mwone nda abatse mwone ndiye ambire kumanja kwa anga bambo uh, bambo chizule muri bwanje ah uh, ndiri bwino ndi to uh, some k yes yeah inu muri bwanje kwene ndiri bwino yeah. mukoza kwa batsa mono mvena ifwa ndire mwina ana kusowana aya 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 ine pano ndi kupezeka mone ndo mweo eh titokoze kuti tiriso limodzi madzulo ano icha bwino i now introduce a very new uh, guest a very spectacular Sister Beatrice, may you mention your full name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't manage your surname. Good evening, Sam. Good evening, sister. And good evening to our listeners. I'm Sister Beatrice Njau. I'm a daughter of St. Paul or the Pauline sisters. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back. Thank We're you. together around 4 p.m. Sure, sure. Zikomo. Bambo Louis Chikanya. Yes. Choma Kubanj. Yes. I Tajoma. Zikomo. Zikomo. I'm a St. Paul. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Omvera, uh, monga tunane na mene tisa nambe programu Kuti lelo, tika hitu kambi na nankane Kuti zanandi zimene za jitika ugenya Kuti feti ziwe kuti uh, Kuti nku punzira boji yaani Kwa jadu zima jitika anga mpepo Kuti ya omba uku mkumabwe laso Kumene kwa tsala chile Mora, madero, mabilo kwa tsala chile Kwa masuri tu tero hai Kwa manjiani jimene tuku punzira abo Now we've brought sister uh, Beatrice Njau uh, She is a Kenyan uh, By native <laughs> and uh, she knows what is happening in Kenya, what happened, and probably what would happen. Uh, it is for this reason that I uh, will invite Sister Beatrice uh, to give us a picture. Uh, but before that, Sister, yes. how does it feel mm-hmm. uh, to be away from your home country and you hear something happening there? How does it feel? Uh, of course, it's not a very nice feeling uh, that uh, at right now we have uh, these uh, demonstrations in Kenya. Uh, but at the same time, uh, we have to accept that uh, we live in a society uh, where we are governed by democracy and uh, people have a right to express themselves uh, when they feel that uh, the, 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 governor, the government is not answering to their needs. And I think uh, what is happening in Kenya is maybe a process that has taken a bit of time and it's mainly connected uh, to the finance bill. The finance bill is simple, it's just talking about the budget. Uh, each year the, the, the government has a financial, uh, financial bill that finances the financial year. In Kenya the financial year starts from uh, July to June. Uh, so naturally this is the time that uh, they debate, the, the, the whole story begins before. And uh, maybe the, the biggest uh, problem there with the finance bill, it triggered so many other things in terms especially of the economy. Uh, we know that uh, like any other country, also our country we struggle economically. Uh, it has been a bit of a process and probably the people who feel it more are our young people because uh, the, the ones we are calling Gen Z's, 
uh, people born around from 1997. Uh, they're also joined by the millennials who are their elder brothers and sisters. Uh, they have gone to school, there are no jobs, they feel there is no hope, and uh, they, they, they feel that there are too many words and there is no response uh, to their needs. Uh, so one of the things that uh, they cry a lot is the, you can say, almost punitive uh, taxation. And this is not something new. Even our Catholic bishops there have written severally on this issue, not just once, several times. And even when uh, these uh, issues began, they also wrote. And uh, they clearly stated there is excessive taxation. And this is the, one of the main points of contention. But however, besides the, 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 the taxation, uh, there is also uh, a challenge that the, the young people are not seeing all this money that we are gathering as a country. We are not feeling it trickling down in terms of development and also helping to have, uh, uh, to have jobs. Uh, they also cried a lot, feeling that uh, our leaders have let us down, especially our elected leaders. Uh, they came to the people and spoke about bringing up. We had something we used to call bottom up, uh, bringing the people who are down up. Uh, so that all of us can have a good life. Now, after maybe almost two years, we'll be finishing two years in August, uh, this has not taken place. So they feel very betrayed. And unfortunately, uh, most of our, or some of our legislators, uh, they are flaunting a lot of wealth on social media. And these Gen Zs are the ones who are there. As we older ones, we don't have time for social media much. So we don't see, but for them, they see, and they have been sending us clips so this has somehow angered, but it was something that was building up slowly, slowly. And one other thing that uh, we have learned from these young people, they don't want dialogue. They just say, can the right thing be done? Uh, because um, uh, the opposition wanted to be with them. They said they don't want any politician, they don't want any leader. They just want things done correctly, as simple as that. Uh, so that is the, the situation which is there. But. Uh, what I can say, also from a personal point of view, but also maybe something which is also in the public forum, is uh, maybe we have to become aware, especially for the continent of Africa, that the biggest population we now have is of young people. So we cannot base anything we are doing in whatever sector of society, whether it's in governance, because in Kenya I feel the problem is not politics anymore. For me, I feel it's a problem of governance. It's, it's different because politics is when you campaign, you get into parliament or into senate as per our country or become a president. But how do you carry out your governance? And uh, these young people are many. That is the biggest population. We are being told our population is basically very young. Now. And not just young, very, very young. Maybe uh, people under 25 years of age, maybe even in Malawi are over 60% or 70%. I'm sure Father Louis or Father Elias can tell me about that. So I think they are the people we should pay attention to. They, we cannot stand a few of us who are older. Uh, by the way, I belong to G Generation X. <laughs> generation <laughs> X, then there's Millennial, then there's Gen Z. Uh -huh. Yeah, so Generation X, that's from 64 Grannies. All the way to 79. Grannies. That's your elders. <laughs> then from 80, all the way, those are millennials. Then uh -huh. from 97, you have the Gen Zs. Uh -huh. And then from 2014, you have the Alpha generation. Mm -hmm. So these young people, we have been ignoring them. And their approach to life is very different from us. I also feel there's a, let me use the word social revolution, but very carefully here, because it's a social change. Sometimes some people call it a paradigm shift. From time to time in our society, there is a new consciousness as human beings that happens that is very different from the other generation. Uh, uh, I was sharing with somebody that when I was finishing high school is when there was the wave of multipartism. And when we were in high school, we went for, for the protests asking for, for multi-party. That was our need. But for these Gen Zs, they just want a, a comfortable, quiet society where everybody, you earn your keep, you pay your taxes, and nobody misuses your taxes. Yeah, so I think that is the challenge we have, and I feel anywhere, not just in Malawi, uh, maybe we have to wake up and start listening to our young people. And also remember, this is also a generation that is quite educated, compared maybe to an older generation. Besides being educated, they are also exposed to a lot of information, they are all on social media, they know what a good road looks like. Sometimes some of us never knew how a tarmac road looked like because in our village there was no tarmac road. But nowadays, even if you are some in the jungle, 
as long as you can connect to the internet you can yeah. see what is a tarmac road oh, yeah. you can see what is a beautiful house mm -hmm. and what is a beautiful car so they're not ignorant anymore okay. so i feel those are the lessons we can learn we we need to pay attention to the needs of these young people and not just their needs but also to listen to them because their way of seeing things is very different for example one of the shockers that they have given us is that they they don't have a leader they don't want in fact they were telling the president we don't want talks we just want to to, to see things happening uh -huh. and now i am seeing on uh, what they are sharing there they say they want to share on uh, the X space, the Google space, they don't want this representative because they realize sometimes people have goodwill, mm -hmm. but easily they can be compromised when they go for these talks, maybe mm -hmm. you promised mm -hmm. something, mm -hmm. and you lower your guard and the status quo remains the same. All right. Thank so you. before we come to the outlook of uh, it all, uh, reading through the Episcopal, Episcopal Conference of Kenya's mm -hmm. uh, uh, episode that they released, mm -hmm. uh, they kind of also uh, lamented over the anarchy that these demonstrations caused, uh, while also requesting the government mm -hmm. to listen to these young ones. What do you think is that thing that would bring uh, the two uh, warring uh, groups uh, probably for a win-win situation? Uh, actually, there are not two warring groups, actually. Okay. Um, and this is a new experience for us in Kenya. In Kenya, we have a lot of protests, mm -hmm. mainly sometimes led by the opposition or some civil group. And this is the first time that we are having, because even us, when we are young, when we went for the... The, 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 the demonstrations, we were led by the opposition okay. that were against uh, all this. But this time we have a new experience whereby we had these young people. Actually, they came on the streets carrying bottles of water. The first time they came on the street, even some restaurants would give them water to drink and all that. Uh, but uh, like in every society, I want to believe there are people who also took advantage of this situation. Mm -hmm. uh, because usually when there are demonstrations, some people may want to steal. Even among the youth as they were walking, there were still some among them who would think they could snatch a phone. And sometimes they would get caught. And you know, for the Gen Z, everything is put there on, on social media. Uh, but somehow, we are not completely sure what is happening. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of information, so I wouldn't want to comment much about mm -hmm. it. Okay. Uh, but it seems there are people who have come who probably don't have the agenda of the Gen Zs. Mm -hmm. They they want to loot and take certain things. Actually, right now some also are being uh, have been arrested because okay. some even went just to rob some mm -hmm. uh, supermarkets or people's shops. Mm -hmm. So that is a different uh, situation. So there there is also those people who may want to come and do the wrong things, but. Compared to the numbers who are there, 90% mm -hmm. or 99% of the Gen Z's were very peaceful. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you call them? They were demonstrating peacefully. Mm -hmm. But of course, when this kind of skirmishes happen, then the police also respond. So usually there they had tear gas, mm -hmm. a bit of the cannon water. And unfortunately also for at, when they went to the parliament, it seems mm -hmm. it is that some people lost their lives or yep. were injured. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but that was, the Gen Z's didn't have that as part of their agenda. Mm -hmm. And uh, probably also maybe the police are not used to peaceful demonstrations. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I, I think it was a new experience for us and it has brought a lot of anger, pain mm -hmm. among the people because these are really kids. They are, they are really small mm -hmm. and young. But I think... As a nation, we have learned a lot, mm -hmm. and I also feel our leaders have learned a lot because uh, it goes without saying it was uh, a good gesture on the part of our president for not signing uh, the bill. Okay. And uh, I think that was a good gesture. Maybe it was a bit too late, but at least he did not fuel that anarchy by signing that bill and he promised that something has to be done the only thing is that now he has to listen to these opinions which were already there mm -hmm. but somehow they were ignored and sometimes our political class sometimes they try to push things and they think once it has passed we might forget and mm -hmm. i think that's what made people very uncomfortable mm -hmm. and as i said there was excessive taxation even on things that really you can't tax. There was tax on bread, even though it was withdrawn at the last minute. There was another tax on motor vehicles extra. It was also a bit withdrawn. There was another bill in parliament, uh, tax uh, land rates. There were some taxes that were not making sense. And last year's bill, also we got a few taxes, like the house levy and other things that annoyed the people so much. But mm -hmm. somehow the bill managed to pass. Okay. In fact, it even went to, to, to court somebody 
took it to court, it took some time there, the court ruled that it is constitutional and it went ahead. Okay. So those are the issues. So I think also some of the anger started growing with last year's issues. Mm -hmm. And in fact, last year it seems uh, the revenue authority was not even able to raise the threshold of part of what they were supposed to raise mm -hmm. in part of that. There's also another thing, there's also what we call, in that bill, also this expenditure which was there, mm -hmm. they were saying there was uh, excess. Mm -hmm. And some of the excesses that were brought out there were like um, office of the first lady mm -hmm. that and, was, second lady. and the second lady which was given 700 million uh, Kenyan shillings I don't know what that would translate in Malawian kwacha but in 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 in, in Kenyan shillings in in dollars is a lot of money okay is is so much money mm -hmm. and those are not constitutional offices so okay. people are wondering what is happening then we had a renovation of the state house at a very big amount there's another money to be put aside for renovating the vice president's house so people are feeling these are things we can wait mm -hmm. because nothing is falling down mm -hmm. and we do the urgent things okay. and uh, so so that is th those are the things so there was that looking at the bill but of course there are some people also who misunderstood the whole story they thought that the finance bill was just brought by the president mm -hmm. now the finance bill has been there all the time mm -hmm. but since we changed our constitution in 2010 mm -hmm. uh, the, the, now the, there's more public participation that's why there's also a lot of people now have become aware that this is happening okay so uh, we have been through uh, that quite a bit Mm -hmm. And uh, this has been going forth, back and forth, I think from March, okay. this discussion in intensity. Mm -hmm. And there was hope that maybe something would be done before then. But now when it was already time to sign it and people are seeing nothing is happening now, the Gen Z's told their parents, please stay at home. Mm -hmm. But this thing has to stop because it's going to kill us. Okay. Yes. Uh, the Gen Z mm -hmm. are fighting for their future. Sure. All definitely. right. Now we've seen the president not ascending to it. Mm -hmm. Have the Gen Z won the battle, if we may call it a battle? I think they have surprised everybody, including the, the opposition, that in <laughs> a very short time they mm -hmm. have made the president do something. I think that for, for me personally, and I think also uh, the feeling of the people was it was a first. Okay. But of course, they don't want to stop there, mm -hmm. probably because they feel they have to reach the end of the journey. Mm -hmm. uh, but already that is a, a big win. Okay, it's a big win, a big win mm -hmm. but we lost lives, 20 mm -hmm. of them. Mm -hmm. uh, do we have... Uh, it's more, I think it's more than that. Yeah. Uh, according to the Kenya National Commission of Human Rights, reported that I think uh, 39 people were killed already by 26th of June. Okay, yeah. I, I think I had a, a, a wrong uh, information, but I think initially it was announced 20, but now 39... And the, and the president said 19. 19. Not 20. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So However, we're right. talking of souls here. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the question that I wanted to ask you, mm -hmm. sister, is mm -hmm. do we have the young generations in mm -hmm. these uh, that died? Yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, they are, they are, most of them are really young. They are really young in their 20s. Mm -hmm. uh, personally, I actually don't know the number. Mm -hmm. I have listened to many, many different people talking about it mm -hmm. and people have different... Uh, numbers okay but the most important thing for me is even if it's just one life lost it's, it's just it's too many loss, yeah. yeah because also depending with how somebody's affiliated and what they want to show they might either exaggerate or mm -hmm. reduce the number mm -hmm. depending with where they are affiliated but uh, that was completely unfortunate mm -hmm. and there are many allegations i'm sure with the time we shall know exactly what mm -hmm. happened but some okay. happened in front of the cameras of mm -hmm. the journalists mm -hmm. so they are not things that can be taken away okay Okay. Yeah. All right. No. Thank you very much, sister. Mm -hmm. uh, without putting you in the spotlight, mm -hmm. uh, I will ask other questions uh, to fathers. No problem. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, analyzing the same situation. Sure. Uh, I'm afraid uh, we might not uh, turn into Chichewa very soon because no, okay. <laughs> okay. sister has to understand what we are discussing mm -hmm. fully, uh, dear listener. Uh, the sister guest here, Sister Beatrice, uh, is a Kenyan and is not fluent in Chichewa by way of speaking and listening. So the skills of uh, listening in Chichewa and uh, speaking are still too low. And therefore, we'll continue a bit. They are still kindergarten. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Now, uh, I'll start with you, Father Chizule. Uh, we saw the president in Kenya uh, almost uh, respecting the voice of the young ones the gen z but 
with a price. A price to say police did not do their job. Did you want <laughs> them to fire more? Uh, no, I think, uh, uh, okay, yes. since you have said that I should respond in English, yes. I'll proceed to do that. Please. Should I? Yes, please. Otherwise, we normally do in Chijio. Yeah, yeah, but but but, uh, mm. but it's unfortunate that uh, President Luto had to come and say that because, as Sister alluded to, you know the complaints started you know quite long long time ago mm -hmm. about the finance bill, mm -hmm. uh, which was you know the thing that triggered the thing. Mm -hmm. After the finance bill trigger, the Gen Z started now actually uh probing you know uh for a campaign for more accountability for the government mm -hmm. and now they are probing for the removal of the whole government including himself you see President. yes so if you look at you know the 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 progression of the thing mm -hmm. the thing took a long long time mm -hmm. up to the time that the bill was being passed mm -hmm. and uh the the youth started you know their peaceful demonstrations on the 18th of june mm -hmm. for one week the demonstrations i think even sister said it they were quite peaceful they were peaceful demonstrations for one week until 25 june when actually uh the uh, demonstrations turned violent uh, when the youth went to parliament and you know caused a lot of havoc there after they were so angered at, the, at, at seeing that um, the members of parliament, the cabinet and the president were not listening to them. Okay. It was only on the 26th I think of June uh, when he, uh, President Luto came the guy who had actually one time accused the parliamentarians, uh, not parliamentarians but the Gen Z, the youth of being hijacked by criminals in 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 conducting the pro the protest mm -hmm. so but but on on the 26th of june after he saw the magnitude of the what has happened now that's when he came and and started saying that uh actually he is not signing the bill mm -hmm. so i completely uh, don't trust him you know mm -hmm. uh, i think he he was just trying to uh minimize the damage and also maybe part, uh, protecting himself and also the the other things you know okay. because it was actually too late for him to come and say that okay. this was av avoidable but uh suffice to say uh they always say that uh it's never too uh it's better late than never okay. so i think even if he said that uh on the 26th if that is not signing mm -hmm. Uh, I think he did a good thing, okay. but he should have done that much better. I mean, much earlier. Mm -hmm. And um, I think he has a lot uh, 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 to do at the moment mm -hmm. because uh, I think he's not even addressing much as 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 what is said. Because as uh, as you have said, uh, as we have sister said, um, there are issues of um, VAT. Mm -hmm that has not uh, been really because not signing does not mean that he will not you know you he, he will just keep it like that so as sister said the bill passed the bill passed he has said he's not assenting to it mm -hmm. but that is not a commitment to say that that is not because uh about the tax issues mm -hmm. i think uh there are a lot the housing level fuel level you know there's just too lot a lot mm -hmm. about that okay. he hasn't said much about that but he has said about not signing that that, that bill and um, also i mean committing to like reducing those uh first lady uh, uh monies and whatever that okay. is is not proceeding right. but uh, i think the the unfortunate thing is that the youth and maybe the greatest populace in kenya have lost the trust mm -hmm. another thing which i wanted to say is that um uh, president luto uh got into power on the pretext that he is going to make a change mm -hmm. and uh, he was uh, the vice president in the previous government uh, which was led i think by president uh, uh, uhuru kenyatta mm -hmm. and he complained that no i was not in in decision making issues mm -hmm. and so i think this was bad but now that he came in he never addressed all that 
Okay. Yeah, and uh, that is another thing I think which frustrated the people. Okay. Yeah. All right. Now, uh, I think my question really was uh, on the part of him mentioning police not doing their job. However, you've explained your part, uh, but in your explanation, you mentioned of uh, uh, the Gen Z wanting the whole government out. Sister, do you see this happening in Kenya? You know, you know your constitution and you know how things are done in Kenya. Yeah, uh, I don't know exactly what would happen. Of, of course, they have expressed that, and uh, even in in nightclubs, there's always a time everything stops, and there's a chant, uh, Ruto must go, Ruto mm -hmm. must go. Mm -hmm. Basically, if we take, no, this is from the constitutional point of view and the law mm -hmm. point of view, if we were to say Ruto goes and all the the, the legal things work out and he leaves, mm -hmm. according to the constitution is that his deputy should become the president. Mm -hmm. Uh, dissolving parliament and starting again again is another completely whole issue. Mm -hmm. So uh, going forward, I don't know what exactly is going to happen, but even uh, looking at the opposition, they are not uh, really interested with that mm -hmm. as much as making the country function mm -hmm. and bring to book also because we have a, ho a whole huge story of corruption. Okay. Mm -hmm. So those are the issues that are there, but uh, eventually we will see how this uh, progresses mm -hmm. uh, because uh, depending with the dialogue that will happen if it happens with mm -hmm. the young people as they say on the x uh, space and on google mm -hmm. uh, then we will see what happens it's something that you just uh, is, is is to wait and see what happens because also the way the response comes as the father was sharing mm -hmm. uh, you know initially the president was very upset and he came in and gave a very strong uh, what can we call it a very strong uh, speech that mm -hmm. didn't go down well with people okay uh, because people are really wounded mm -hmm. uh, he could have been more reconciliatory so that didn't go well with the people but after he came back a little more reconciliatory uh, which now by then uh, nobody wanted to hear what he was saying because as father said the trust was lost okay so I don't know if he's able to rebuild that trust or how is that is going to work out and also of the our own uh, members of parliament. Uh, that is also a huge uh, problem in front of them. They really have a, an egg on their face. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't envy their space. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Gen Zs want to go for them one by one according to how they see them mm -hmm. as being uh, wasteful mm -hmm. in terms of their... So also their own properties have been attacked, their homes, their, their businesses, because people feel these businesses probably... Uh, from our taxes. It's not mm -hmm. like they earned this money and they are flaunting it around. So, so that has been a very big problem. Okay. So now they said they are going to expose each person individually. They also said they will still go back and get, uh, we have counties in Kenya. Mm -hmm. They will go and get our county government, governors, whoever is not working well and bring them to, because it's like now they are taking the law into their hands. But having said that, just one point that I would like to say is um. I feel that uh, we, we also need to have some order in whatever is happening here. You know, you cannot let it completely lawless. I think okay. that can be dangerous for a nation. Mm -hmm. uh, at least uh, there should be uh, some respect to the institutions. And the Gen Zs actually are defending themselves and they say they never had intention to occupy parliament as such. They just wanted to bring their grievances. So we need also to respect those institutions. What we need to do is... Uh, smoke out those who are not respecting those institutions because they are important institutions mm -hmm. uh, in the country. So that's what we are safeguarding and also our bishops, at least from the point of view of the Catholic uh, uh, Church, they are mm -hmm. also urging us to, to have that vigilance mm -hmm. that we don't end up uh, being a lawless state because uh, a demonstration that has no leader can lead to what we call lawlessness and okay. lawlessness can be very difficult to control mm -hmm. and uh, that's why personally I wouldn't <laughs> advocate for saying ah, they, they, let's just disband everything mm -hmm. no there has to be a, a proper process meanwhile also we don't have uh, the electoral commission what we call the independent uh, uh, electoral commission of Kenya we don't have it because okay. the chairman finished his mandate and they have not chosen some of the members so it's not constituted mm -hmm. so even if we were to send all the parliamentarians home today we cannot conduct an election because mm -hmm. the people who are supposed to be in space are not there mm -hmm. however the president promised that in 10 days mm -hmm. uh, this 
electoral okay. commission will, 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 will be con constitu constituted. Yes. Okay. Then from there maybe we can talk another thing. But right now we cannot do it because there is no one to conduct an election. I see. Uh, uh, Sam, I don't know. Before maybe father comes, I just wanted to say that uh, on President Ruto mm -hmm. trying to say that uh, the police didn't do enough. Mm -hmm. I think um, he was not right because the police tried their best, but I think they were overwhelmed. Okay. They were overwhelmed because the youth were just too... Uh, there were a lot of them, and mm -hmm. they tried to use water cannon, rubber bullets, tear gas. It never worked. They even tried to use live bullets, according to reports, mm -hmm. which killed the other people. Mm -hmm. But it never worked. Okay. And when, you know, President Ruto tried to bring the army, they, I think the court tried also to say that the army cannot... Uh, uh, right. join, you know. I yeah. So I think uh, uh, that's friend. the situation there. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, now, Father Lewis, you, you've heard what Sister said and what Father Elias has said. Now, would you come in, Father, to a bit kind of correct <coughs> the situation? What would be done better not to have this happened? Uh, unfortunately, uh, most politicians are stubborn and uh, as you are asking what would be the best mm -hmm. to avoid to avert this situation now was to listen in the first place when people were crying when mm -hmm. people were coming with suggestions with with a lot of you know suggested so solutions mm -hmm. for the situation and uh, I think he, uh, they were uh, they were dumb Okay. And I think uh, that was a problem. Okay. They should have listened to the cries of the people mm -hmm. and do something. And they failed to see this coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, a, yeah. You, you see, sister uh, is afraid to say it's not possible probably to uh, wipe out this crop of politicians because this Gen Z are looking forward to a completely new set of politicians, uh, including opposition and the ruling, the governing. Now, now by the way, uh, these old politicians, what guards, mm. they should know that things are changing now. Okay. Yeah, we can't be uh, we can't be the same mm -hmm. for the time. Mm -hmm. And they were, I think they were caught unaware mm -hmm. that they couldn't expect that uh, this generation would do this. Okay. And see, they have done it. Okay. They have done it. So things will change. Okay. Mm. I see sister uh, wanting to speak, but surely we are turning into Malawi issues. Uh, no, but no. I hope you'll be listening. You will understand a bit no, of sister Chichewa. is able to listen to, to understand to, understand yeah, the problem is to, to, to speak. speak. Yeah. Ah, okay, so you can chip mm. in in English. Yes. Right. No problem. Okay. Now, uh, Bambolu Chiganya. Uh, Omvera, uh, Timagambe and sister uh, Beatrice, I'm at the two two Zamines in Zajiti Kira Kokenia, uh, and Kanekul and Doji Kunajitika, Mademo, Mademo and Avuda, Ajinia Mada, Komasunda and Tuena, Azibolo and Agalo and Parliament, Kuja Wambili Menemo, Koma, Kanagia, Masusanandi, uh, Bilu, ya Zaju, Maya Jagajino, a eh, Menendi Tugunagudi, Waendeze, Mjagajino Paga, uh, July Wajagaja Mawa, and the and rente opo sa rente ditero afa opo sa 160 kuvulala ali mzibatala komaso sister akamba kuti anthu amena machita za ubandu agwido gwido apo akutengedwa ndi thula mulola yambo gwira po nchito ndiye mafuna anoti bwere kuti kodi ife ngophunzira po chiyani ndiye ndi amba ndinu bambo Louis Chikanya kunena kuti tapeza achinyamata ku Kenya amene ndi tu akuti anatelo makolo kana mnyumba nchito yetikira roka Koma referimeni tufuna, tufuna jirunga mojijitike. Mm -hmm. Lucy Asibanda watisia, koma ananga mbapo, pape jiagi, kunena kuti. Ndhawe yanga inaduta, dinari wati nyamata, koma ndi mayankula, ndipo ndi mazuzula. Tsoba anu kazibanga ni ndi inuyo. Mugawo na jinyamata kumalawi, ya kuta kuhima, pajulu, kunena kuti magolo ya wa, au ngote jira ndalama, ngali mena jitura kukenya. Eh, mene, mene chapangita, achi nyamata kukenya, kutapungisi mena pangazo. I would say that not extravagance, extravagance, opulence, mm -hmm. and corruption. I would say that I would extravagance, corruption, opulence. Kukala moyo was 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 it 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 Oh, eh, that's your So, back home, mm. I think it is so Okay, 
kajikebreko extravagance kaliko <coughs> kajikebreko one tsera tabizina kuti ndirinza kuti ndirinza kuti mm-hmm. kajikebwe so ka corruption ndi kaliposo eh eh zimene zo ndi lolo kuti corruption mwathu muno ndi mm, iyapita awuti kuti patsogolo ya kwera we are failing to fight mm-hmm. tukulepera kuti titana na corruption mm-hmm. and this should be worried the president mm-hmm. eh kuti a president athu analowa mboma with this mm-hmm. kuti afuna ka tetse katangani mm-hmm. Safu noti pakaliso corruption. Mm-hmm. Ari ense ngakale kungudi ya wantambala. Mm-hmm. Amaitwa nena. Mm-hmm. Kungudi wantambala mm-hmm. you go. Ana de lord. Eh. Kuma we are we are losing the battle. Okay. Corruption is winning. Okay. Ezo eh, chamba chimenejo cause ya mavuto amene ali kukenya nda chinyamata amene apangisa chinyamata ndi ya corruption extravagance. Corruption is a pupu. Extravagance kuja Mononga mononga uh-huh. ndalama za gulu eh ndem na class <laughs> izungujina mna leja opulence opulence ndi chani meji mpije izomweso kana kana ni moyo moyo wapa mwamba kwa mbili mongoni tsera eh eh kunyada eh kunyadi na yena ndi wina na nena first class when you can go with any economy yes wina na nena kupenya kumeko i fact the vice president mwana club amena kuti Sunga makale moyo wozone tsera kuti ndiliza kuti pamene ndi ndi msuru ndi msoko wawapo mhm ukonesa ndi mbagale moto ndi nyumba ine chani ukonesa so kunyatisa anthu amene ndo sauka kuvutika mhm that is very, very bad chabwino ande apa kuona akuvutika kuspeleka msoko iko kuti zimenezo chabwino bambo jizule simukona kuti nyama ta amene wa ndi nsanje jabe kuti anzao wapata ali pa udindo akujia bwino nde nanga kusangalala basi wewe ndenge kumaria msamasangala i actually i think it may japan gets a kwambiri and uh, kusiana kwa mene ena wa kuchitira bwino okay. ndi chiguru meji kuvutikira okay. fashi nyamata jatu akumaonetsa kuti auje mm-hmm. taona ni mene ali nazo mm-hmm. akazi ao mene ya kuchitira mm-hmm. pa chuma mm-hmm. ndi taona ni mene feti kuvutikira okay. ndi nyamata acha mm-hmm. akudana ndi ziti ndi zimezi mene akuika mbaba kuti operance okay. ekuti anyamata uku akutha kuona kuti monga kuno mujati manenena kuti awanda big nda big yo sa kuno kuti nda big akumaona kuti awanda big chifaja ndrama zathu e ya nda akuba akuba ndrama zathu ndi wakudana zimenezo kuti ai tisatero ai ehe ndi kukenya ko i think isi kuti ndi sanje andi anyamata kukenya ine ndi kwayamikira kwambiri chifaja kunena kuti kandi amikire education system ya kumeneko chifuwa kumeneko uko kuoneka kuti achi nyamata kumeneko ngozindikira oh. eh ngozindikira chifuwa atha kuona kuti city enera kuenda chonche ai mm-hmm. akuwa akula mango kuti ai ndi mezi mayina okhalira mm-hmm. kwa thukuno ola achi nyamata amaombera manja azinthu zola kuti anga zimeneso ah wande a big kuti hey. gaira aka kugaira 2000 ndeyo maona anga kuti ai ndi naenda big ndrama kuja zanu zomwe mm-hmm. ndi awa kuti a a kumeneko Simoyo mm-hmm. dziko lino siri kwenea kuenda chonje ndene mm-hmm. ndikuyamikira kuti i think they are civilized mm-hmm. komaso they are informed and uh, and uh, and ndandonena kuti they are empowered intellectually okay. fauka hao nato akamapanga interview mm-hmm. akumaya nkula zindu za mphamvu zotolo ma politicians aku malai kuno enu mata awatu sadzi watu kuno malai kuno koma tonani anyamata 22 years mm-hmm. akuyankhula zimenezi mm-hmm. kupanga stand up akunena kuti i feel we are standing up for this mm-hmm. Andi china jimena nafuna ndonjezere pa zimena na father chikanya um ndi kuti ngani ikana khaso avoid limwina pa nkhani onena kuti consultation chifwa aboma anango ono to ife kuti no tipulumuke komaso kuti tikwanilitse chifwa nkhani mwina fundo imene sina kambidwe tichambire cha program ma taxes osea cha kunene dwacha ndi biru imene kuti ibwere zikujokera ku zimene IMF inanena okay eh IMF monga ku malai kunoso kuti matenga ngongole chani imapeleka ma conditions ngati nthawi ina kumbuyo ku kunali structure adjustment program mm-hmm. anati gulisani ma company mm-hmm. kujaso anauza chonjo kuti nuyo tapani ndrama kwa anthu mm-hmm. mungati tapani ndrama kwa anthu ndi kuti tendera limodzi pa izi 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 ndi kutapa kwake kunali ma tax misongo ndi nkhani kuti kuchoka kwa IMF mm-hmm. Ruto waibwesa kwa zake as osachita konzati waibwesa ku chani kuti then nkhani oti china nchimenechi kuti malamulo asana kazikitsidwe maboma amainera kuti tizipanga konzati anthu 
the public populace mm. ndipo public vomereze ndipo ugenya ko utafufuza mm. mara muloso ama nina jonjo ndila murolisa na kazi kitsidwe pakale ko zatation mm. koma zikone ko zimezo pana libe mm. anthu atamba ku yankhula sana ziwerengere mm. ndezo tsatira za kenzi mene zisa all right eh. uh, sister i've taken one point from uh, father elias chizule about education how do you describe your education system and probably the uh, curriculum uh, just in a snapshot Actually, I, I was so interested with what he said. He said two points that I, I thought were very brilliant and mm -hmm. they are very important. He talked about the IMF and mm -hmm. all that, some conditions that mm -hmm. they bring into mm -hmm. the country. Sometimes we are also suffering that as okay. African continent. Now, when it comes to education, uh, there's a, an interesting story in our country. Um, education has been taken care of very much. Okay. Uh, and uh, something... Uh, just a bit of history for the millennials uh, the education was there because even our first president uh, Daniel Arap Moi in spite of the many problems we had he was really an educator so education okay. was there so when the millennials uh, came uh, while, while finishing university and starting to get jobs who was our president it was president Moi Kibaki okay one of his strongest point was economy and free education okay so the millennials enjoyed because they finished school and they found a booming economy I see. and they were able like to make it so that's why also the gen z's are very agitated because their immediate elder brothers they were able to like okay. kickstart life immediately mm -hmm. having said that also if we look at our education system i i can say it has its own challenges mm -hmm. but even the set books that are used mm -hmm. in school mm -hmm. for literature in english and what we call fasihi in kiswahili is just literature in kiswahili okay they are all political uh, political books I see. where they talk about greed, they talk about governance, hmm. they talk about uh, uh, corruption. <laughs> In fact, there's a, a Kiswahili book that is called Tumbo Lisiloshiba. Mm -hmm. Tumbo Lisiloshiba is a stomach that is never full. Okay. <laughs> and of course, you, you know what that means. You're already yes, laughing. Yes. If I tell you somebody has a stomach that never fills, you can yeah. even see the people in society who yes, look like that. Yes. So imagine these kids, that's what they did in high school. Mm -hmm. So they understand matters governance. Mm -hmm. uh, they understand many things. And remember also we are a country that, uh, let me say, I don't know if it's fortunate or unfortunate, we have freedom of expression. Okay. We have also grown seeing opposition parties going on the streets. So they are not ignorant. Actually in Kenya the political debate is very alive. It's okay. like we are always in campaign. Okay. So this we can say is the most cooked generation in terms of understanding governance also in comparison to other things. Mm -hmm. Because they are also able to see they can look at that. But the education system actually I can testify and I have heard many people speak about that. Mm -hmm. The way that these young men and women mm -hmm. were groomed in school has helped them to have something we call critical thinking, I see. which sister, is very uh, important. Uh, high school, secondary school, high school, is it free or they pay? Okay, uh, Kenya, uh, primary school is completely free. Mm -hmm. High school, especially day school, what mm -hmm. we call the day school, is also very minimal. In fact, some counties, they pay very little money. Mm -hmm. So, and also the government demands a hundred percent transition from primary school to secondary school okay. irrespective of the marks you got you uh, cannot you cannot not go to secondary school anymore in kenya you, you so, can't repeat at primary school you can repeat no problem okay, but fine. you cannot stop school at primary school ah, okay, you fine. have to move because of school fees you can't no you can't ah, okay, yeah fine. so we have something we call bursary mm -hmm. Uh, that helps the poor children and mm -hmm. most of the time if it's only when you go to boarding school that the parent has to pay I see. the money for the boarding and the food but if you are from a poor home you just go to a to a, a government day, day school uh -huh. where also education in most cases except in the remote places because so, teachers refuse to go there mm -hmm. uh, usually there is good education but most importantly is what you've mentioned about your curriculum yes bambolo is chigani just to, for the benefit of our own villa, uh, sister Gambangani, you di yejokira kwa bamba jizuli. Kuti ago nanga di kuti sukuri ago Kenya njapa mwamba. Ndet na fusa yo wa sister vomera. Ogo kuma bugu ameti ma wenga. Kwambiri amagamba zamu yo weni weni. Wazandalezi wazaula muriro. Ndizina zote na napele kajitanzo jabugu. 
lunch swahili uh, la kukamba kuti munthu ari mimba yo sakura <laughs> <laughs> now kuno tinga ikeze bwanje nkhani zimeta karupuzira fm ditsala ndi zina zotelo mungakambe bwanje mene tupanga compare so pano kuti timaphika ana otani bambo mm. sikai zona di nkhani ita kuti kukamba mafola musiana siana kuti timana ndira mapuzira odabwitsa kuno mm. amene sadi thandiza kumapeto kwake mm-hmm. eh Awana za literature. Literature mene ndi mapuzi ya mwina za ufiti. Not the same as ufiti zingati tandi za kusogoro. Mwana wa mali za school anango pisa za ufiti. Mutima tima nena kuti kodi bwaji siti saika kuma za tandi za mwina za za kaganizi. Tima nena za last program tima nena za civic education. Kuti machi sanzo za panseu za mwina mkugwisa chito au mtu manage ndalama. Hey, business mene mm-hmm. kuti zero mm-hmm. mwana amango bila school timanena so za mwisa welding mm-hmm. and uh, woodwork mm-hmm. kale mwana wa form 2 amapunzi la woodwork mm-hmm. welding mm-hmm. ali form 2 kupanga bed mm-hmm. e, bunobwino cha mm-hmm. kuwa mapanga welding mm-hmm. yeah. fabrication mm-hmm. lero zinata cha uh, so those things kuma what we learn today mm-hmm. zoda bwisa kwa mizu duda kuli ana ama pozira jana wa maliza form 4 can it not do anything don't you think our education is controlled by politicians in fear of what has happened in kenya anyone can pick it somehow they tell me now so kuti andale ndo chinjera they do want us to be ignorant tisa pozire Okay. Assistant na kuti ma president amena na khalako ku Kenya mkwa mpira ku amakonda mapunziro. Mm-hmm. Which is very good and surprising kuti a politician mm-hmm. would like people to get educated. Mhm. Eh, uh, an educated person is a critical person. Mm-hmm. Kuma mm-hmm. kuno kwathu people want to kuti uh, atsogolera to mafuno kuti at disappear school for chake. They allow free uh, school fees ana kuzikweza mena funira ma school. Mm-hmm. I mean so shito my university basi ku kweza ma school fees they very well know kuti ambiri sakwanitsa and kusakwanitsa they will not get educated and usakhala ma punziro they will not be critical so so avuditsa so pass pressure so what is happening in Kenya is a society a group of people the young people who are informed they follow what is happening in the world okay elsewhere Mm-hmm. Then akuziwa what they are, they are right. Okay. They don't want corruption, they don't want uh, uh, extravagance. Mm-hmm. Sister was telling me eh uh, now they are digital. Okay. They would, they would, because they don't have jobs. Many mm-hmm. of them don't have jobs. So mm-hmm. what they do is they create zochita mm-hmm. per online okay. content. Ma content they mm-hmm. make content, they make mm-hmm. money mm-hmm. out of that. Mm-hmm. So kuno kwathu sisi na fikisi news. Kwa chama mm-hmm. ana waikira boso nsoko babe. Internet I don't know sister sana na uza internet kwa kuma internet kuno kwathu expensive. Mm-hmm. Ashi nyama ata kuta <laughs> get internet uta pange create zinto. It's not easy. <laughs> Mwina ene ndi onjezerepo kunena kuti ngati wa modzi wa za history a mm-hmm. uh, mwina azikuchokera kumene tikuchokera ngati mbiri atu mm-hmm. kuti kwathu kuno muja tinani ndi chipani chimodzi pana achuruka kwa mbiri uh, za censorship kuti izi ai izi ai izi ai andi ngakhale tinapesa matipate kuti talo amula muliro wa ufulu kumabeza mbiri tikana panga bezo tsekerezana tsekerezana mm-hmm. ndezi mezi jazi ku curriculumu ziri ku communication mm-hmm. ziri ma office mu mm-hmm. zose zija mm-hmm. siri na jotseredu yai ndezi mezi ja zimakabe ngati kuti zikuti manga ifa malawi mm-hmm. ndiku mati bwezera be mbuyo paka chidweka zinthu in terms of critical thinking in terms of what we have to learn mm-hmm. what people must get and all that ineyo okay. ndiku panga analyze on maganzo yaini ndikuona ndi thukuti zikutengera kume tikuchokera history yathu do you really uh, mene muganizira bambo elas chizule uh, tiwena ukhala ndi society ngati yana ku Kenya ifama lawo uh, ah manjira ina eya koma usati pa zonse oh. eya koma kusiyanitsa kwake kukhale kumene kokoti um, uh, achinyamata omatha kuunika kuti kodi chowenera kuchita njani mm-hmm. Assisted our photo was up, but he monga by Jerompo to cause on a goody farmer demo in Munadi and Ajita Mademo. Come on, Kanga is the capital leader. Yeah, then no Gakaria president. I am Bagari Kupanga my concessions. Biru is an Odyssey Dutta, Sasainira, Abangaso Ya as Maya Tua, Sita Banga is in this, Coma, Ayamadaja, Akupiti Zabe, and they would already 
zikutandiza okay. ndiye panjira imene yoti zimena achita nyamata aku, aku Kenya kuti tutiswa ikiranga ta imene eh mm-hmm. fa kunoko kuti mathakuona alo alongolola kanda jihana kanda ndani ama abo matha ungosia mm-hmm. eh komano achi nyamata atata khalifa asanda aletu ya andali beso ntsogolero no ni saku madziwika eh mm-hmm. panopo president atafuna funa amene anga kambirani naye ndi anyamata achatia pali beso kuti pali ntsogolero eh mm-hmm. ndiye nkhani ndi onena kuti tiswekera achi nyamata otero use a critical thinking mm-hmm. to push agenda ya bwino Osati yo dzikonda mm-hmm. yo manena kuti ai fe kuti ndi fe activist kufuna ka ngo jan drama ai fe ndi fe jani kufuna ka panga is a a koma tifunikira amene koma tisafike kuononga kucha koma kuononga kucha mwina ena aso alwelerapo okay. chifati kuma vaso mbiri za kumwe kuti ena ndi eh, otumidwa ndi andale kuti alwelere kuti aononge mm-hmm. eya koma ambiri 90% percent ndachi nyamata amena kufunira dziko licha moyo wa bwino ndo moyo wa iwo omwe mm-hmm. kutudza khale pa bwino patsukola anyamata okonda dziko lao ine some um, impressed kwa mbiri <coughs> ndi agenda ya nyamata okay uh, first thing is uh, sa kupanga uh, toilet kuti wina apange on the tribal basis mm-hmm. kapena on the political basis mm-hmm. sa kulola andale kuti abwerepo sa kulola za tribe <coughs> sister will uh, agree with me kuti kugenya za tribe is very hot ah oh, yes yes okay za tribe is very hot mm-hmm. they don't even uh, <laughs> want you kuti unene dzina wako you produce yourself by name ya uh, am chau chau na sister Beatrice one they will know mm-hmm. that she comes from this tribe mm-hmm. she, they don't want that because it's hot okay so akinya mata sa kufuna zimenezo sa kufuna wandala rwerepo they are focusing on rooting corruption and extravagas okay ndi agenda yao imene mm-hmm. all right yeah now uh, 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 yes sister actually I, i i just want to second what father is saying mm-hmm. and maybe something we can learn from this mm-hmm. not just as malawi even as a church mm-hmm. for me the what i'm seeing with the youth they are teaching us something important okay let us forget politicking mm-hmm. okay and concentrate on governance mm-hmm. because We have politicians but mm-hmm. we have governance. Yeah. Governance means putting policies in place. If you are saying our education system has some flaws, mm-hmm. it means the policies are not okay. Mm-hmm. If the policies are not okay, there is somebody who is not implementing. That mm-hmm. is governance and that can go through everything. Mm-hmm. The way we are we, we pay our, our our political leaders, how our judiciary functions, the executive every what we need here is to concentrate on governance and mm-hmm. I think the Gen Zs have caught that properly. Okay. And that's why they said we don't want political parties. Mm-hmm. We don't want uh, tribes. Mm-hmm. We don't ask me where I come from. Mm-hmm. Kenya is for us. Mm-hmm. Let us uh, do and they, they're saying one thing. They're just saying can we do the right thing? Okay. Just be integral. We know what is to be done. We mm-hmm. have a beautiful constitution. You mm-hmm. know the right thing. And as long as you're doing the wrong thing, that's why things are going wrong. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh Bambo Luis Chiganya. Mm-hmm. Uh tamva kuchokera kwa bambo chizuri anakamba apo sonkhane kukhozana ndi kuti anyamata wa konda nkhani yake nkukhala kuti ndi wokonda dziko lao patriotism mm. koma you have added uh, uh, to say patriotism yake yabwe inozedi imene siku yangana mtundu mm-hmm. ango yangana generation yao we are one kuno kumalawe muzona zikutheka program yathu tufuna kambira na zomwe ngati kuphuzira eh koma ndiwona choncho Eh mene tupita ku pena mpeno maona kuti kalipo nditukha that mentality. Achinyamata kosa yangana ntundu. Eh eh kakubwera pamono pamono ngakalebe kaubwera mu mafoka. Mhm. Eh komabe I think we should do more. Okay. Each for our one day adzimusa kwambiri. Okay. Akukenya adzimusa kwambiri eh kwatiro kuti zimeta not what should we learn from them? Achinyamata they are following it. Mhm. Eh achinyamata tu our social media they are following it. Mm-hmm. So they will learn something from that. Tinaona mu uh, 2019 nkhani ya kukoti achinyamata kubwera mu kuthandizira kwambiri mm-hmm. nkhani za technology. Mm-hmm. Koma yes we are low uh, in terms of uh, uh, uptake yathu achinyamata kuno ku Malawi pa nkhani za technology. Uh, koma kumene kuone kuti atsogola chifwa sister uh, makamba kuti afika achinyamata amene wapomena kuti kumpanga analyze munthu chuma chake Zimena mapeza ndiye akuti adzingoyalutsa. Yakuti azimpanga poso. Ayambapo kale zimeso. Ayambapo. Ayambapo. Ah anthu ambiri amene aphungwa amene aupanga analyze, um, pungwa kuti 
drama zimene wapeza atalawa upungu choje mm-hmm. uh, akutakuona zimenezo mm-hmm. and i think um, zijandane na kuti panopa kufuna kuti anthu osa joke mm-hmm. chifwa apeleka so list ya upungu so osa di president yek mm-hmm. apungu amene ayene na kujoka mm-hmm. uh, pampando mm-hmm. chifwa cha machitidu yao mm-hmm. zija kunoti mamva kuti auri au chakula magamu romwa kuti chani mm-hmm. achi nyamara wakumapanga zoom munthu amene uja mm-hmm. ndi kumupanga analyze ndi kumuchita kuti a ah, uyuyu x ngati mujama lembera miseo anse mm-hmm. wakafuna kuti uyuyu ai ya yeah. ndi Kwa hiba kwa hake nkungu wa dimina kumata wa mapita no mpita unyumba kwa hake jani kwa maa okay. afika pa mene buwa upanga analyze zose mkuzi mkona kutino apapa ndi uta kubeda antu mm-hmm. akukwisa nchito ndrama za jani za chuma mm-hmm. yeah, so uh, sorry <coughs> eh, kuno kuta katune na sozo mwezo kuti kuchitika mm-hmm. kuti uya kwa hiti mm-hmm. uh, mtu wala wa mbo makapena wa mbandare mm-hmm. ampa saudido chaka chisana ante mkome mm-hmm. mutalizi tuzo chukuka Ali ndi malo ampili kumala iso ziliko eh ali moto ampili ali kwa gula manyumba tayo mwe yo chepa mhm dey we wonder kuti ndira mana zuchokera mhm okay that's the problem now they oppress jani manena extravagance jani manena then nkuma ima sopa mse nkuma nkuma nya dirantu mhm zindi zoti wachita kumba nkuma nya dirantu how to how to move footy guy in bus amezulu ama anga zoti ukalemera usita nkula mchiguru oh oh mawachi chewa mawachi chewa eh so ngati mwaba mwalemera tamukali chete osati osati ngwaswa mwapeleka phunziro to phunziro kwa amene mmatibera mulimfiki amugamwezuru mwalemera tamukali chete amugamwezuru akuthandiza all right uh, we are going towards the end of our program uh, what is the major lesson that we can learn from this situation uh, let me start with bambo chizuri okay uh, kwa ine puzirwala ikulu teni tisakare agonta nkutu tikakhala ngati titi kutsogoleriku uh, tizimvera zimene anthu akutani kodi akunena zimezi ja tikazikwitsa nchito mwenerera pantha ya bwino tita uh, kuteteza uh, zinthu zina uh, zimene zingabwele patsogolo Taona ni kwanza tu Kenya huku nkhani inayamba ngati kuti yoti ya ibiru ya kuti ya kuti misonkho tayonani basi osafuna kumva sotsatira zake ka kuti ndonongedwa miyo ya anthu ya onongedwa pano uh, ubale pakati pa atsogoleri adindo ndi anthu waipa siti kudziwa kuti zithe mota ni ku Kenya okay. nde ineyo phuziro limenda liona uh, oti tisakala gonta nkuru tikakha kutsogoleriku koma tiangane obwino wa anthu ndi kumamvetsera uh, madandalo wao father louis aha ndani mafuna kuisa na wa bambo kuti kumamvetsera zimene mm-hmm. anthu akunena bakamaka uh, amena matimira ka ya maipi mm-hmm. makansa mm-hmm. mukuimira wa anthu sikuti mukuimira chipani mm-hmm. ngati ndiwe kansa ndiwe mp <coughs> kudera la kwathu osicho sia kwathu kumuimira anthu akumeneko sikuimira chipani chako chipenu unopanga uchina. Mm-hmm. Nde zimene zimachitika zoti anthu they want to please chipani mm-hmm. that's what we chipani. Mm-hmm. Nkuiwa la anthu. Okay. Zimene zimene zimabweresa mavuto. Mm-hmm. Beside the point. Um naona parliament ya ku ya ku Kenya. Kodi parliament sister they use as a mode of communication they use Swahili is it or the mix? They mix they mix. They mix. Okay. Okay. Mostly Swahili. they use English. Aha. Yeah. Okay. 80% English a bit very little Swahili. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, and then don't forget this is catholic perspective we heard the episcopal conference of kenya speaking sure what are they saying now uh, one thing that the bishops have said is that we are supporting our young people okay we are with our young people their grievance is valid and we are going to support them and it's not just the bishops actually the because the noise was there even some of the civil society were complaining about this so when the young people came on the streets Masu, their, parents, their parents their uh, parents have come um, out people have come out so everyone is supporting this even mm-hmm. though the gen z said we'll be the ones to go to the street mm-hmm. but everyone is supporting what they are saying and we need a change okay. and probably the greatest lesson as I, i began sharing here is that the biggest population we have in africa is the young people the game has changed and i don't think take them for granted don't take them for granted and secondly our politicians have to listen to learn to listen 
what Bambo Chikanya was saying is sometimes politicians are, have allegiance to their political parties mm -hmm. and they forgot to forget the voice of the people because even the finance bill, uh, the party would decide mm -hmm. how we are voting. Mm -hmm. So I think now they have to learn you are chosen by the a people. constituency mm -hmm. to represent them. So you have to pay attention to what they are saying. Mm -hmm. Actually, the Gen Z, they are saying we are, we are, we are your employers. Okay. So I think also for our politicians, they have to learn that it's not things as usual. Okay. Maybe the youth here or elsewhere will not do what the Gen mm -hmm. Z have done, mm -hmm. but they have learned something. Okay. And I think it's not only the, only, not only the Kenyan youth have, who have done something. We have seen Burkina Faso. Okay. The president is 35 years old. Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, things oh, yeah. are changing. Yeah. Uh, I think it's Liberia. There's change. a young man there also, 32 or 33. Yeah. Actually, the mother is from Zambia. Only mm -hmm. the father is from Liberia. Things mm -hmm. are changing. Mm -hmm. So I think also for our elderly politicians, they have to change the narrative. And also not to be arrogant. Okay. Listen to the needs of people are crying. A true cry of pain. Maybe when you're in that, that opulence that Father was mentioning, you know, may not realize there's somebody who's not affording even one meal per day. Okay. And that is the cry of our bishops. Okay. That, uh, you know, in the Catholic Church, in the Catholic social teachings, uh, we, we talk about uh, equity. You know, we share the resources of this world are not just for a few. Mm -hmm. They are enough for all of us. Mm -hmm. And everyone has a dignity and a right to live a good life and to have the basic necessities without begging for okay, them. Okay. Thank you. All right. I saw you, Father, wanting to chip in when Sister was saying something. No, I think my point is Haipangagava. Mango Funa Wonja Zawuti, my bishop of Kenya, a Kuasa Buddha, my Ganzaji Yamadao. Also, the Bazon Sekuma, a Ubuino Mene, Uripa Mene, plus he would Kakaroi Mira, Kazembewa, a papa, Nayeso, and I am Krapo. Kwa kunena ndi tukuti izmena anyamadawa akujita. Tinaina kuti tamvetete ndi puti tenge ndi tu fundu ya igulu imene alinayo. They want change. Yeah. All right. Ndipo kuti pamenepa ato goleri mwina adziweso kuti kajitidweka meneti majitira mbuyo muntawi zina zima sinta. Zima sinta. Meneti majitira tawi zina zima sinta. Okay. E, nafuna ndo nje zeleso puzuru limene ndi tulimeta luwa. I know and understand that it's only the time that has limited us from speaking but we would have reached probably 12 midnight talking this <laughs> topic. Yeah. All right. Ah, thank you very much, dear listener. To talk us any nonsense, I mean, what is that? That we say, good morning. Tina onje is a jizungu. Go man, nane ro kudi tinda lendo. I mean, esanga tegu yangu la buino mchijewa. You are one the sister Beatrice Njau. Pauline sister, based in Lilongwe. Akdasis of Lilongwe. Is it pronounced your name correctly? Yes, you have pronounced perfectly. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, it's Ziko Mo sister. Ziko Mo Gambiri Sam. Yeah, uh, Father uh, Elias Chizule. Thank you so much. Ziko Mo Sam K. Ziko Mo. Father uh, Louis Chiganya. Catholic perspective. Until next week, when we come back, see you.